Hey there, Tinkercad friends. Let's make an awesome holiday turkey. Why don't we name it turkey to start out? And let's go down to Tinkercad Extras and let's bring in the feet. Bring in your two feet. Do Control D. Use the arrow keys to move it across so that the feet are just separated from each other. And then let's quickly grab a body. We're going to make our body with a Tinkercad basic shape and we're just going to use a sphere. When you find the sphere, bring it out. Let's move it away for a minute. Let's grab those two feet and let's group those feet so they stay together. Now bring your sphere out and then stretch your sphere so that it's going to be big enough to cover uh, your feet. That'll be the turkey's body. You can see I've got 40 by 55, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm going to select all that and I'm going to align it. I'm going to click center from the side view. I'm going to click center from the top view. And then... I'm going to take the body, so I click off everything, I click the body, and I'm going to just raise it up 10 or 15. With our body in place, let's make some awesome feathers. Bring in another sphere. This time we're going to type the numbers. Let's make it 6 wide. Let's make it 3 thick. And then I'm going to hold down shift and move it to the right so I can see better, so the shape is out of the way. And I want to make that feather... Instead of 20 high, I want to make it 30 high. So that's a pretty nifty turkey feather. And let's make it a turkey feather color. And then here's the magical part. Make sure that you can see the rotate. Do control D. Go over one, two, three clicks. And then move to your rotate tool and wait for it to turn red. It takes a second. And then when it turns red, just hold it and wait patiently. And when it allows you to rotate, Seriously, you have to wait a second. Choose one tick mark so that your feather has been turned. Pick a different color, and then without touching anything else, just do Control D, and it makes another one. Don't touch anything else, but change your color, and then do Control D, and it makes another one. As long as you don't touch any other keys, it'll let you make as many feathers as you want. And then once you've got your feathers all the way around by doing Control D again and again, Simply grab all those wonderful feathers and group them. After it groups, make sure you choose the multicolor and they come back. Do Control D one more time. And then do the awesome flip command. And then move off the arrows. And then use your arrow keys on your keyboard to make it so that your turkey has an entire set of feathers. Grab that entire thing and group it. Switch to your home view so you can see better and simply use the arrow keys to move the turkey's feathers to where you want and then grab the cone to pull the feathers up. Check your views quickly with the front, corner, and side views to see if it's where you want. If not, you can adjust. I'm going to move them back just a little bit. And then let's quickly add a neck and head. We're going to use the same trick with the sphere. Simply bring a sphere out, lift it up, stretch it up. If you want to use something else, you may. I'm going to use the black handles to make it a little skinnier. If you made it the same size, it would probably look slick. And then you just push it into the body. So I'm going to push it down. Switch to that front view so I can see if it's lined up the way I want. Rotate it a little bit, and then I'm going to use the same trick for a head. The patience when rotating is so important. But there's his neck. One more sphere for a head. I'm going to bring it out to the general area. Make it a little egg-like using the handles. Lift it up. Use the arrow keys to line it up. If you wanted to use the align tool, that could make you a little faster. Real quickly, I'm going to make the whole body brown. So I'm selecting all three by drawing a rectangle. So with all three selected, I'm going to make them brown real quick. There's my good turkey brown. I'm going to give them a beak with the work plane. So I'm clicking out on the front. The more flat you have that, the better it's going to come in there. I like that right there. And now I'm going to go down and find 
the pyramid and I'm gonna drop that beak out on them shrink it down to beak size using those cool little cones all right let's see if we can make these eyes in crazy fast speed uh, drag out a sphere switch the color to white and then here's the cool trick hold down shift and shrink those down until they're approximately five by five that's a good eye size do control d to duplicate and move it four to the right so there's a little gap between them i'm going to do control d to move that and then i'm just going to use the arrow key to put that eyeball in place so i've got both eyes where i want them i'm going to select all four of those pieces making sure i only have four group them i'm going to turn on multicolor and then I'm going to move that into my turkey's head. Let's do that quickly by going front view, home view, and you can see I can just lift it up using the cone and slowly but surely nudge that little critter into place. They may be a hair large, but I could just make my head wider or I could just shrink them down a couple clicks and then move them again. But that's a nifty, fast way to get your turkey's eyeballs in place. Let's use that same technique with the work plane to create our turkey's waddle. Simply take a sphere and squish it and shrink it till you're happy. And of course, make it red so it looks like a turkey's waddle. Then use the arrow keys and that awesome cone to nudge it in place. Take a look at it from the front and make sure your turkey looks just as groovy as you want them to. Switch, zoom out, take a peek. Little things I can tweak, like my eyeballs aren't really attached. But you can see the project has come together pretty good. Now I'm going to simply add some cool words down on the bottom. And there you have a groovy little holiday project. Thanks for following. I hope you had fun building it. Make sure you share anything cool that you added. There's a lot of room for you to add your old flavor to this. And make an awesome holiday turkey. Happy Thanksgiving.